Hello everyone, I'm Travis Bruce. Welcome to the Horror Realm. Today I will be reviewing an Amazon original, Run Sweetheart Run, which is a Blumhouse production film. This is a movie that I was actually excited about. I seen the um, trailer for it back in 2019. And I was waiting for this movie to come out, come out, and I never heard anything about it. Turns out, what happened was, during COVID, they actually put back um, the production and the theatrical release for this movie. So it sat on the shelves for years before Amazon Studios actually purchased it and actually put it on Amazon Prime for free. So when I was scrolling through it and I seen it, I was like, oh, let me check this out. I've been looking forward to it. So the movie actually starts with um, a woman who works, she's a law student. She's working in a law firm, um, predominantly white males. She's a black woman and um, she's, you know, getting held back. She's not moving up in the ladder. So um, her boss, who's a, uh, the top lawyer, calls her one day and says, hey, you double book me. We, um, I have my anniversary with my wife. But also I had this client, this interview with a client. You're single, you're young, he's single, he's young. How about if you to go out for dinner? She's a single mother, she's, she's just getting out of a breakup. She's thinking to herself, why not? So, so she gets a babysitter and decides to go on his first date. Slash meeting. Um, so she meets this gentleman, he's a European, has a European accent, good looking guy, rich nice suit on they decide to go out for dinner they have a good time they, there's a click there's a chemistry they go roller skating they have some fun she decides to go back home with him and that's when all hell breaks loose that's when she finds out that he's a vampire and he gives her the, the chance that if she can survive until daybreak he will let her go so this is a absolutely, it was a shocker and a, an amazing movie for me um, up until the last 20 minutes. But let me break down the positives. First thing, soundtrack. The soundtrack in this movie is bopping. It has a nice 70s, 80s R&B uh, flair to it. So, and I really like that. I didn't expect to see that, especially in a Blumhouse horror movie where I was like oh, okay I like this second thing is the cinematography it is it has a unique look to it just the, the way the colors bounce off of the night the the actually how the action is is actually um, captured it just has a, a unique cool look to it even like anytime like even when shit hits the fan it pauses and it says run in big capital letters and she runs it's super cool I, I i definitely enjoyed that the acting is top notch especially the gentleman who plays the uh, villain in the movie amazing villain he is he is a little bit calm but he also has an evil side he's a little cocky and arrogant but also has a, but it's a little smooth too so it, it kind of throws you off um, this movie is definitely a scary movie this, it definitely keeps you um, on your toes the whole entire time so I definitely liked everything about this movie except for two negatives alright so there's a genre that's called it's called feminist horror okay and the last movie that I saw, which was a feminist horror movie, was last year. It was a it was a movie called Men. It was an A twenty four movie, and I get I get it, but like the huge men are creepy, men are bash, you know, disgusting, you know, the toxic masculinity, ugh, you know. In this movie, it is like the last 20 minutes. It gets real. I mean, there's peaks of it in the beginning, but it gets really yikes. It gets... Um, and it, cause, cause this movie definitely had a shot to be something different. Um, it has a shot to be something different where 
something that's happening in the real world where in this country minority women disappear and nothing is being done three times more than white women do and to and, and this movie had a chance to point that out especially with a woman director she didn't she pointed out briefly and then it went straight into and it kind of point to me it kind of points out the hypocrisy hypocrisy in the whole feminist movement because the feminist movement is definitely segregated by race and watching this movie in that last 20 minutes if if you watch that last 20 minutes you'll see exactly what i mean you're like uh, like you had a chance to really do something interesting and like got us uh, you know um so instead of pointing on that it, there was a lot of now once again i'm a man i don't know anything about tampons but this woman was going through tampons more than I go through gum. In, in a five hour time span, which this movie was taking place, this woman had at least seven to eight tampons, like constantly looking for tampons. And you know, the, the vampire is looking, smelling her by blood. So it was an interesting take, but it was just constant tampon. Her just sitting on the toilet, the blood, this and that, it was too much. So um, yeah, to focus on that, and um in the feminist movement instead of the real topic that i think that would have definitely drawn attention to this movie and actually the actual concerns would have been great so i mean originally that's why i like to watch these movies and then take about 24 to 40 hours to before i come and make a video and actually do a review because if i would have came my first night i would have gave this movie a four out of five but actually sitting back and like analyzing it, I definitely took some points off. So I would give this movie a two and a half out of five. The, the last, I, it's been a while since I watched the movie and the, literally the last act just killed the whole entire movie. All right, guys. So yes, if you like what you saw today, hit that little likey button and hit that button right next to it to say subscribe. And also hit the alerts too. So like I post new videos every single day. So if you want to be on top of what I post, please do. I do horror conventions, horror movie reviews, to be Tuesdays, Burger and Wednesdays. So guys, um, look below also too. You can follow me on Instagram as well as TikTok. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. And thank you for visiting the horror room.